I, I think it's the fundamental desire of every human person, woman, man, child, to live in freedom and dignity. And wherever these are impeded, people would seek to relocate to areas where they can live in freedom and dignity. So trying to prevent them, trying to repel them, will not stop them because the desire for freedom and dignity is fundamentally rooted in the hearts of every human person. It's a responsibility that goes beyond the capability of any single country. So if any single country is experiencing situations that is causing people to be displaced, to be moved, either through environmental degradation, through arms trade, through violence, it really calls upon the global community to come together in solidarity, not to begin to demarcate and create boundaries and walls and obstacles to prevent people, but really to see this as a global concern that involves by duty, by responsibility, every single country. It's not isolated. I would say to a person who is really paralyzed by fear, you know, by hatred or by any thought of violence towards the other who comes as a refugee, to allow himself or herself to experience conversion. Conversion in the sense that these negative attitudes actually impede our ability to experience our humanity in full. When we are paralyzed by fear, by anger, or by xenophobia, we are not living up to our full human potential. We might think we are protecting ourselves, but in reality, we're limiting ourselves. And when we are liberated from this, in other words, when we extend the hand of fellowship and solidarity and hospitality especially to the other, we realize our full potential as human persons. And I think the people who allow us to see to do and to experience this are people who come knocking at our doors and asking for a cool, safe place to be fully human. I think we're in a point in our world when we are beginning to realize that we are all called to be people of solidarity. Pope Francis has said it again and again, as a human family, the core values we embrace are mercy, compassion, solidarity. Refugees offer us at this point the opportunity to experience that. And we cannot shy away from it. We need to embrace this opportunity. It's a Kairos moment for the global community, not simply a threat.